Hey teachers, um, I was trying to use Screencastify, but it was running so slow. So um, I'm just gonna do this old school and on my cell phone. So yeah, the link I'm gonna give you in your email will take you directly to this page. Um, and this is the Highlight Hub. And again, we're doing the Highlight Hub because right now we are going against Veterans Park. Um, as you can see last week, how they were able to beat Garrett Morgan. Um, and then what we did down here with our nine and six. Uh, right now we have two, so shout out um, to the teachers that have already started filling theirs out. So we are definitely um, already on to a great start. So let's just keep it rolling. Now, again, that link will take you directly to what you need to fill out here. And it's very simple to fill it out. So I would just choose my school at Garden Springs Elementary. I'm going to now select the tech tool. Now again, you can do a bunch. There's a whole lot all the way down through. Those are all the different tech tools that you can get credit for using. And you can use the same one multiple times. Um, but what I wanted to do is one that I know that we're all doing and that's Class Dojo. So I'm gonna click on Class Dojo. And now that I've clicked on Class Dojo, it's just gonna ask me to describe how I use this tool in the classroom. Um, and so I'm gonna type that in. All right, so I went on and typed it in. I just talked about how Class Dojo allows me to put reminders for parents, anything from projects to assignments to field trips. And then I can send those reminders out to parents five days before, or even the day before. Um, and parents have really liked that tool. And so I just wrote that up. I'm going to rate my experience with this tool as a five. Um, how did we learn about this tool? And so there's a ton of options here. Um, so most of the stuff that I learned from Dojo, I actually was um, training outside the district, but you guys may have done the beginning of the year training. So whatever you'd like to select there is fine. You can upload a picture if you want, but you do not have to. Um, you can just hit submit after doing those things and you are all done. Um, but if you wanted to go above and beyond and add a file, uh, one easy way to do that, and I went on and brought up my dojo here. So I just got the snipping tool down here at the bottom. And so I'm just going to take a screenshot of what I'm talking about on here. So you can see the events and upcoming events and that little screenshot. I'm just going to save it. And I'm just going to type dojo. Okay. Now that I've done that, when I go to my Highlight Hub down here and I click Add File, simply select that recent file that I just did. There it is down here at Dojo. Click and drag. Boop, it's there. Upload. All right, all done and then hit submit. And that's it. Now we have another point and I can do more. And again, you can do this as many times as you want. If you're looking for a bunch of things to put on there, um, I went to my Google Drive here. And again, when we are talking about types of technology that count, any of the Google documents that you use, the spreadsheets that you use, um, presentations, the forms that you create for quizzes, um, each and every one of those could be used. And so if you're looking for a reminder, you can be like, oh, look, here's all these Google Forms that I've created, and each one of these could count as a point, and I could put those in there. So tons of options if you need it. Um, but again, I'm hoping to give you updates throughout the week, um, each and every morning as we look and see how these are turning out. So thank you guys so much for your help. Uh, let's go to the finals.